Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we are going to add a Google font so it shows up in the drop downs on your page builder. So we have a test site here and I can show you we have some text. And if you go into the title font or any of the font drop downs, see the last one is Yenon blah blah cap something. So we're going to add another font after this. Okay, so what you need to do. is go into your files now this one doesn't have a child theme so we've got Divi here at the moment so we're going to need to go and grab a child theme so if you go onto Divi child themes page on Divi theme examples you can download bare bones which is basically a blank child theme so download the zip so that just has a functions uh, style css screenshot and a footer php so we have that here so in the dashboard we're going to add our child theme so it's really simple to do there's a lot of posts about child themes and how to create them, how to set them up. It's very easy. So here we go. Choose file. So we've just downloaded Divi Child. So we're going to open it and install it. Activate it. And you basically, you now have a child theme. So, bare bones for Divi is active. So now, any modifications you do to your theme, you can you can do within your child theme. The main Divi theme is basically referenced by this, but any updates are made within your child theme. So you can update Divi without overriding any changes you make. And one of the changes we're going to make is to add the Google fonts. So if we go back into our, this is our file manager through cPanel but you can use FTP or however you're accessing the files in your server. So we need to refresh this page and we should see it's public content themes so now we've got Divi child so we've got functions a screenshot footer style and we're going to need to edit the functions PHP so what we're going to do is first of all go to Google fonts and I've picked out this one which is called Erica One. And it's got 400 weight, which is a thick font. So basically, all you need is the name. <clears throat> so now we go back here, and we need to go and grab some code from the original Divi um, theme files. So we need to go into Divi, Includes, Builder, and click on that, and then on Functions. So we're going to go to View, and this is the Functions file. As you can see from the scroll bar, there's quite a lot in it. So you need to scroll down to where the Google fonts are included and it's here. So you can see Google fonts 
and you want to copy everything from the function et builder get google fonts copy the whole list down to this one so just before the end if so copy that and then we can close this window so now we need to go back into the Divi child theme and open up functions PHP and we're going to edit this one so we go to edit now you can see this is the NQ script which you need as part of the child theme so this is basically saying um, that Divi is the parent file so under that you want to paste the entire code that you've just copied and then we need to add to the end here so we're just going to copy that last font file and we're going to go in so it's <coughs> Erica one. Where are we? Erica one. And it only had four hundred, so we can take these ones out. It was Latin and Cursive. Okay, so there we have Erica 1. Now, if we save the changes and then go back into our page to a refresh, we need to reload the, uh, the Divi Builder. So now if we go into the <coughs> this text module So here we got Divi Louds for Elegant Themes Divi uh, That's the heading Okay, so if we go into the advanced des design settings and click on the font scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see now we have Erica 1 so the text font is Erica 1 we save that update and view the page So my internet's a bit slow today and here you can see we have Erica 1 now it's also added to the theme customizer but <coughs> as you can see it's typography so these these previews here are actually images so we haven't added an image you can but it mean editing two more files so I don't think it's worth doing but if you see under this was our last the Yanon font and this is the one that we've just added below so it shows up as default because we haven't had added the image so if you put that as default and then again here so it's basically the default one that sits at the bottom of the the uh, list 
So you see when we did that one, it has changed here and here. It's changed everything. It doesn't look great, but it shows you that it's working. And that is how to add Google Fonts to your Divi Builder and Divi Customizer drop-downs.